What up, fish people? Kenny E with Danikin Aquatics. Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a fish video. I wanted to do a complete fish room tour. I'm going to say fish rooms, I should say. Haven't been on here in a while. I'm still alive, just been real busy with things and just being life, if you know how that goes. Anyway, so I'll start you here in my living room. I'll get it turned around here. This is our 55, one of our 55 grow out tanks. This is what's left of my obliquians, zebra obliquians. These guys are native to the Lake Victorian Basin. They are not in actually Lake Victoria, but surrounding waters to Lake Victoria. Anyway, I've got a few of these left. I'd say in about another month, I'll finally have them all sold out. Then I do have the male and a couple females aside. If they become shortage again, I'll start breeding them again. But as of right now, this is probably the last of the Mohicans for a while for me. I've had a real hard time getting rid of these. These guys are all about two to three inches long. So then I do have one of my dragon blood males in here. Have to keep the guys separated. They've been picking at each other. Down here, guys, is another. This is more of a breeder tank. Right now, I just have a couple of females in here. The male that was in here was being rather aggressive, so I took him out, put him in the 135. If you can't be nice to the ladies, there ain't no sense having them in here. And later today, I got one that I'm probably going to put in here. Might even be the guy I just showed you in this above tank. He's, he's got pretty good colors. But anyway, this is a 55 gallon as well. I've also got them. Somewhere in here we have a clown pleco as well as a giraffe cat. He usually likes to hang under these rocks, but I won't disturb him. I don't like to do that. So that's those two tanks moving right along. This is a hundred gallon. In here we just house four fish. We've got two Scalaris wild caught angelfish. And then we've also got two of these Savennies. These are wild caught as well. The angelfish I got from a good friend of mine, we'll call him John Fish, that's what he likes to go by on the internet here. John's a great guy, he hooked me up with these guys. He said the only condition to him giving me him is that I don't kill them. So far so good, I've had them three months and we've done a good job of not doing that. These Geophagus Savennis came from a lady by the name of Cindy Bunn. Um, I've bought quite a few of her fish. I just recently, this week, uh, weekend, picked up three more of these guys. They're downstairs in a lower tank you will see shortly. But, uh, yeah, we, my wife and I love these two biggins. We brought them up because we they're kind of aggressive as far as these guys go. Let them hang out here in the 100 with these two angels. I don't think anybody will be bothered. But the only thing I'm thinking about putting in here with these guys is a pleco of some sort to keep the algae under control. But other than that, that's this tank. Like I said, they're, uh, everything in this tank is wild caught. As you can tell by look at these guys' colors starting to really come in. Beautiful finish. These two are a pair, but they haven't made it for me yet. And with these other two in here for now, I don't see them mating. I haven't showed any breeding activity, so I figure we'll just let them go for a while. And moving on to the left of me, these are my pair of 135, built right in the wall, 270 gallons of pure African cichlid enjoyment. So in this tank, as you can see, this is where I do have some oblique and females. I kept this little gal because of her unique coloring. Love to get a strain getting with these weird colors going on. But uh, anyway, yeah, I really thought she was cool. And then I kept these two. As well as I've got uh, some of my leftover firefish. These are pure breed firefish that I bred. I got a male and a female. And I've got a couple of red zebras in here. I normally don't like to keep mambunas with my other peacocks and whatnot. But these guys are pretty docile. I have two of these uh, Malawi eye biter compressiceps in here. Uh, these bluish colored dudes are some uh, deep water hops. I've got three of them in here and they've actually bred out for me already. 
I've got the remnants of my lemon yellow breed stock in here as well. These are my few of my females. I do have one male in here. They haven't uh, bred out of late. I've been trying to keep the breeding down. Then these are a couple more of my dragon blood males that I have for reserve. This is the guy I'm really considering mating with the two females down there now. I'll have to get him out of there. But yeah, this is one of my 135s, African cichlid setup. Uh, this takes been up over a year. And uh, everybody seems to be happy and doing well. I've also got quite a few of these little cockatoo cats in here. And they are actually starting to show breeding activity. So I might end up finding a tank for these these guys and let them go at it because there's one female in here that is huge well good morning there sunshine the obliquians are never real shy uh oh well it looks like my deep water how female is holding again so I'm gonna have to find a hole for her but then I've got this little Kyoga flame And then I've got a real, real pretty electric blue in here. And of course, whenever I turn the camera on, he wants to be shy. Oh well, yeah, these guys uh, all seem to be getting along. Fun, fun tank. There he is. He's one of my favorite in the tank. I love his fins. He's been a good fish too. So next to this is my, I call it the bigger boy tank. So in here guys, I've got, uh, well as you can see, large borley eye. And then I do have uh, some more of my lemon yellows in here. There are a couple more of the females. That is the male oblique in. Got to keep them separated. I don't want them breeding right now. So that's why he's in here. Uh, I've got, one red zebra in here. I do have these sulfur heads. This guy, I had a group of these little uh, OB peacocks. This one had the best color, but if you look at him, the poor, poor guy was born with a little bit of a defect. I don't know if you can see that crooked jaw on him, but I don't want him to go be wasted by somebody, so I kept him. Now these two that I have in here, these are my pride and joy. These are my Paratilopia bleaker eye. I have a pair of them in here, and they just recently started pairing off. They've been making nests, so I'm sure here pretty soon I'm going to have to pull these guys and put them in their own little tank, let them have some fun. But as you can see, just stunning colors on these guys. Awesome, awesome fish. One of my favorite fish I own. Uh, I do have three or four of these lace cats in here. Um, again... Not showing mating activity yet. I do know I have a couple of females for sure. Maybe one male. We'll see how that goes. There's my Borley eye. I do have a pair of Anustas in here. They haven't bred yet, but I do have a male and a female. He's He was a lot bluer than this yesterday, but he's not today. Got that great big VC-10 there. Do plan to get him a lady eventually. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Dropped the phone. We'll just keep on pretending like that didn't happen. Another peacock. I've got this guy. It's an interesting story. He uh, came with a couple other fish I had gotten from someone else and got rather aggressive in my angel tank, 100 gallon. So that fish is about eight eight inches long pretty good size I do have this peacock right there he's the one that just got banished to the 135 doesn't know how to treat a woman so he'll spend out his days in here now and I might give him another go at it this gal was one I, I had three of these guys in here uh, my big male and one other female died I had a large mabuna in here that killed them I was not happy about it the mabuna is long gone but Here's the female to the other Paratilopia bleaker eye. And as you can see, they're starting to flare their breeding colors, which is awesome. And then I've got that red shoulder that's rather faded out. 
So yeah, that's my pair of 135s. And then over here, well, this one's not as clean as I like to keep them, guys. Today's one of the days. This is one of the ones on the list. That is my pride and joy as well. He is a, one of my hybrid strawberry. Does most of my studying as of right now because of his unique colors and finish. He makes some beautiful babies. And then I do have him and a couple little females in here just trying different things for different color. Nothing real exciting in here other than these guys make beautiful babies. I do apologize. I haven't had a chance to get at this tank today. And there's another albino gal I'm trying to work with. So, moving around to the kitchen. In here, <coughs> not a lot of excitement, but we have our little group of White cloud minnows. I've got both albino and regular in here. We keep got a group of about eight or so in here. This is just a little 10 gallon. Then over here, we've got a cute little beta. It's a little five gallon. He's been with us for a while. Our vice president's wife, Kimberly Holtz, is the one at Bath these. We were lucky enough to get them. So he's one of the ones that we got through the bat program here's one of five only male we got all the rest were female and then if you turn around 180 this is one of the tanks that my wife and I spend a lot of time on of late this is our 72 bow front tank and eakin tank and in here so far we've got the lemon or excuse me I was gonna say lemon cichlid lay loopies and we've got these albino brochardes Oh, shoot, guys, I wasn't prepared. My wife could tell you the name of these. We just got them. When they're all grown out, they're going to be this brilliant blue. And uh, like I said, they're, they're cool fish once they grow out. Um, they got these treks. Got three or four of those in there. And as always, whenever I get the camera out, the compressor seps black calvuses decide to take a run and nowhere to be seen but I have two black calvuses in here and then we've got well we did have five now we're down to I think four uh Reganis in Reganis in here and of course cameras out and they become Mr. and Mrs. Shy let me see if I can find something here for us well there's one the Rigani's way back here hiding in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it makes me mad you can't see my compressor steps. I think I see them back there by the filter. Can we get a shot of them is the question. No, we cannot. Anyway, well, do apologize that. The other one likes to hang out in these shells, so she's probably up hanging out in there right now. I don't like to bother them if I don't need to. I do plenty of videos, so I'm sure you will see them another day. But anyway, that's our 70 gal 72 gallon bowl front. We absolutely love it. So, and moving right along, I'll show you guys the bathroom tank. This one is a uh, just a 29 gallon, excuse me, 20 gallon long. And in here we have a little breeding group of Scarlet Red Endlers, which I am getting ready to cull some of these guys. It's getting a little out of hand again, so we'll take some of these either to one of the local pet stores. Um, we're considering putting some of these down with our Shelleys. I'll show you those after a while. But, yeah, these guys are starting to color up nice. Quite a few of them in here now. My wife started this little project with, like, I think two feet, two, yeah, three male, or three females and two males. And they've grown into this colony. So she's been working on this colony for, it's probably going on eight months, ten months now. So as you can see, they're very prolific. And lots of, you can keep this kind of fish, lots of water changes, guys, and lots of plants. You're going to keep this many in a tank. This is more than I like to see, actually. So moving right along, this is our, I always call it the makeshift fish room. 
So back here, starting here, we've got our little colony of super red plecos. Excuse me, super red bristlenose plecos. I'm a little female shy. I do have two of them in here. Haven't really had a successful brew yet, but I thinned out the herd to hopefully make them more relaxed and I've been feeding them a more varied diet. We do have some of these mixed endlers in here. We used to have thousands of these. We've done a good job of, I give away most of them. And they're starting to get up there. And again, we're gonna probably be transferring these guys out of here. We're gonna figure out another place for them. And most likely the plecos, we're starting to run out of grow out space. So got to do some drastic things. I might just put a couple of the males and a couple of the female plecos in a, like a 30 gallon and See if I can get some breed and breeding activity out of them for now. But, like I said, that's that. And down here, I'm hoping, it's usually super camera shy, but down in here, I've got a, one of the most brilliant modas. Good friend of mine, Matt. He uh, is constantly watching my YouTube channel and keeps up with the Greater Portland Aquarium Society. Uh, hooked me up We traded I had some Mabunas and he's an avid Mabuna keeper I was done with them after what they the damage they'd done to my Peacocks and whatnot. I lost a lot of good fish on their behalf. So we helped each other out Excuse this take as well. Looks like we spilled some water on it and forgot to wipe it down. Oh Come on guy I'd love for you folks out here to see you. I'm going to try to see if I can get him to come out for you guys. There's his head. Come on, buddy. Come out. Just give us a view real quick. Come on. There you go. As you can see, he is gorgeous. Don't like to disturb him, but I had to show you guys this one. Absolutely gorgeous Moda. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Like I said, I don't normally do that, but been on the table a few times on the line here and haven't been able to show you guys him, so my wife and I haven't figured out a name for him yet, but it's coming. He's definitely somebody we want to name. Okay, moving right along. This is our 29-gallon bow front, and in here we got a breeding colony of uh, Honduran red points, and there's one little gal there. These guys are real cool little fish. We love them. Um, God, I'm so shocked. There was a bunch of babies in here. They must have eradicated their own again. But anyway, that's our 29-gallon bow front. And God, I do apologize. Usually these guys are a little bit more friendly than this. And then next to that, I've got a little grow out tank. I've got some of the Dragon Blood Firefish Hybrids. As you can see, it's starting to get their color. I sell a good portion of these to the wet spot here, local in town. If you want some, as you can see, they are gorgeous. Then I also got a bunch of these uh, little green tear dudes in. There was a lady up north that needed some help. So I helped her out. I didn't really ask her permission if I could tell her name online here, so I'm not going to mention her at this point. But, real nice lady. I took in all of her little green tears. And I also got a couple of Kyoga males that are starting to grow out in here as well. In here I got some more little green tears. It's another 20 gallon. These guys are extremely messy little fish. Um, we did have a bunch of rock and stuff in here. Out of fairness to them, I wanted to give them some tank space to freely roam. I am slowly but surely getting these dispersed to local pet stores. So, anyway. Then down here we got mom and dad. They're going to be going into a bigger tank soon. But gorgeous little green tears. That's just a little 20 gallon, which isn't fair to them. That's why I say we're going to probably put them in a bigger tank. 
So in here we got, it's another 20 gallon. And in here my wife has some of her lemon tetras. Uh, what's left of her Marge tetra. She's going to be getting a new stock of those. These ones didn't do well for some reason. And she's got a couple of scraggler endlers in here. Then we got one uh, super red pleco in here. There's a little female beta. There's actually two of them in here. I don't know what are the other. Oh, there she is. They seem to do fine. They'll pick on each other. Then we got a couple, two, three of these little albino quarries in here. Nothing fancy, just a bunch of good uh, wood and planted tank. And here's my wife's little pride and joy tank. This is her little 20 gallon cherry shrimp colony. She started this colony with like 10 and I can't tell you how many are in here nowadays. She's got lots and lots of them. But she let this tank season for quite some time and then uh, introduced the shrimp and they've thrived ever since. There's a cute little one right there. So yeah, she does cull them from time to time. And you can see all the little shrimps in here. So then over here, this is our 75 gallon heavily planted, heavily wood tank. The reason these guys are in by themselves, they keep attempting to breed. Um, we still got some more work. I've done a pretty good job of getting most of the snails out. Like I said, this used to be a community tank for our discus. Then these guys started breeding, so we evacuated. We still got three straggler stir by quarries in here. As you can see, there's one there. I did put a little yo-yo loach in, and that was done on purpose for the moment to uh, basically start addressing the snails, and he's done a pretty good job so far. There's another stir by back there. Strange thing is I'm not seeing him. Usually he's out and about. I'm not seeing him today. So yeah, we're hoping the things go well and keep these guys going. Beautiful discus. But where is Mr. Yo? There's another stir by hanging out in the back back there. Taunting me. Anyway, I don't know where that yo-yo loach is today. Usually he's out and about. So I hope something hasn't happened to him. Anyway, guys, that's the 75. We'll call it the 75 breeder blue diamond discus tank. Then over here, we got, this is another 20 gallon. These are our little pride and joys. These are our little pea puffers. They're looking like they're needing some more snails. So I'll have to get some more in here for them. You can always tell when they're fat and happy and when they're not. And right now they ain't so happy, so we're gonna have to get some more food up in here. They're not exactly starving, but you have to understand, my fish are always super fat, so to me this is starving. But these guys are very interactive. They'll come up, talk to you, check you out. We got two females and a male in here. Well, that's bothering me, so I think we're going to give them some blood worms right now while I'm thinking about it. Give them a few in there and those will soak up some water and they'll be in munch land for a while. So anyway, and moving around to the bedroom. This is my pride and joy. This is Drogon. He's going to be getting a bigger tank soon. This is our Hyacian, or better known, common name, Black Nasty. But my wife's sleeping in here, so I am going to move on to another room. So, moving, moving you down to the lower level. <coughs> uh, 
As you can see, we're getting close, guys. Got the waterproofing down. There is the rubber mat. Then we can start laying our new hardwood floor. Not hardwood, but it's a rubberized floor. So I'll start you in here. So this is some more of my, these are more of a dragon blood. And there's my proud little mama sitting down there. And then in here I've got some of my baby Hondurans. They're getting cute. They're starting to look like mommy and daddy now. And in here we've got some uh, rainbow fish. These are some of my wife's little red rainbows. And then she's got some thread fins in here. And then we got some uh, more endlers. And uh, endlers obviously have been mating again. Just a 20 gallon heavily planted little tank. And then this is our new little project. We've got a rack of tens going here. Got fish in, I think three of them now. We got our little panda guppies. I got these from the Willamette Valley Aquarium Society meeting uh, last month, not this month, but the month before. Cute little guys. In here, I've got a couple. These were in my African tank upstairs. These some more of those paratilapia bleaker eye. They just aren't doing well up there. I wanted to give them a chance. That guy, I don't know what's going on with him. And then his mate over here is, uh, again, they just don't seem as happy as they should be. And you cannot be weak in an African tank or you won't last. So give them a chance in here for a few days. I'm treating them with some general cure. That one back there has got me concerned. I'm not real sure. He's acting like he's got the bloat, which I've never had an issue with these guys getting that. If it's not bloat, it's definitely a swim bladder issue, so hopefully it works itself out. We shall see. Then in here, we've got some swords that we just picked up at the last Willamette Valley Aquarium Society meeting. My wife's been wanting some swords. These are gorgeous. And then in here, we have some unknown fish. I don't know where they're even at, but a couple little fry. Then in here, I got another 55 gallon. And in here, we got these beautiful Salvini. We got them from Rusty came up. World wide known South American expert. And he brought a bag of these with him, and I was lucky enough to get them at our Greater Portland Aquarium Society. They're just starting to color up. Do apologize, these guys are usually pretty shy. And I got one lone Kyoga in there. Then I've got another one of my uh, dragon bloods in there as well. But as you can see, there's a good shot of these guys. Look at how gorgeous she is. The males turn like that, bright yellow. And then these females get more of the blues going through them. But as you can see, they're good looking fish. So in here, I've got kind of a weird shaped tank. I picked this up at Greater Portland Aquarium Society meeting. But we do have a mating pair of rainbow crypts in here. And they are sitting back there proudly showing off their little babes. And they had a pretty good sized brew. I'd say we got. 15 to 20, maybe 30 of them in there. And some more endlers. I like to use the endlers as dither fish. Here I got a major green water problem. I can't even attempt to show you what's in there, but got the one female beta, and then there's two giant crypts in there, Corinthuses. And here these are another set of my favorite, favorite fish. These are little peacock gungeons or goodians, whatever you guys want to call them. I call them gungeons. Very personable little fish. Come right up and to talk to you. I've got a total of seven of them in here. It's a little 20 gallon long, heavily planted. Like I said, my wife and I keep a pretty good diverse group of fish tanks and different fish. 
But these are one of my favorite. I always say that. I got so many favorites, guys. So, uh, let me take you into, I call this the big boy room. Right now we have 300 plus gallons in here. This is our 135 long. And here I've got a bunch of different species, guys. And I've got a group of six uh, silver dollars. That guy there, there was a gentleman that was reaching out at our Greater Portland Aquarium Society, he was desperate to find a home for this guy. That fish is like, I think he said 13 or 14 years old. Then we have these other silver dollars. Then I've got a whole, I've got six more of the, excuse me, seven more of the Savenny in here. These are all smaller guys. I did get this guy as well from that Matt gentleman. It's one of the other fish I got on trade from him. I've been looking it up. I haven't been able to even find any more of these local. I don't know where this guy got this fish, but I tell you guys, if you're watching my video and you have an idea what the heck that long slender thing is there, I've been trying to figure out what exactly it is. Cool fish, I know that. And there's also a group of millennial albino rainbows in here, as well as regular millennial rainbows. I uh, have platinum angels in here. I think half of them are diamond scale. That I just got these from that same lady, Cindy Bunn. These are breeding pairs of these little cute little angels. Again, a lot of diamond scale. Then my, I've had this group of uh, silver dollars for a while. These used to be in my angel fish tank, but uh, believe it or not, as long as I've been keeping fish, I had no idea silver dollars like to munch on plants. So they destroyed my, I had these gorgeous Anubias, and they completely ate them up. And let's see if I can see any of the pleca. Well, the para just bolted. He's a little skittish. Ah, here's one. Got this beautiful. Little guy there. That's a royal pleco. I have a total of three of those in here. There's the other one. Here's another one hanging out on the filter. And then I've got some of these green tiger barbs. And I've got a pair of pleco in here. And let's see, did I get everything? Oh, of course, you guys probably saw the, some more of the albino cord cats. But that pleco is really a bad little fish. I love that guy. These new little angels I got are cool. Then moving right along. These are my Tiger Oscars. Y'all probably have kept up with me. That's probably why I haven't been doing many videos of late. I had a, two tigers that I absolutely loved. The female decided to turn Cujo on me and munched up my male, killed them in a matter of three hours while I was at work. So anyway, I got that guy right there along with two of these littler guys and brought them back to the house thinking three against one that she'd chill out. Within 10 minutes of putting these guys in, she decided to go Cujo again. So anyway, to make a long story short, this little black guy here is my new Tiger Oscar along with all these other guys. And this is my new Tiger Oscar tank. And today, later today, tomorrow is going to be their tank cleaning. They used to have a real bad algae problem in here until this guy came along. He's been doing a pretty decent job. So anyway, that's that tank. That's a 100 gallon tall. Or excuse me, a 120 tall. Then in this tank is my 100 gallon angel tank. In here we've got a few different species of angels. That's a smoky moonstruck or something they call it. I've got five or six of these koi's in here. Two of which are breeding. We've got that cute little black guy there. I've got five clown loaches, five of these pike, little dwarf pike cichlids. 
And then we've got three Pandagara in here, and then we also have three of the Super Red Plecos as well. And as you can see, I had a real algae problem in here. I put the Super Reds in here, and they've already munched up a bunch of this algae that was on my plant, so they're starting to take hold. But these little dwarf bike cichlids, again, I got them from, we'll say, John Fish. The guy's an incredible breeder, breeds a lot of cool stuff. He's in our uh, Greater Portland Aquarium Society. And I've gotten some cool, cool fish from him as well. So anyway, that's that. And I'm not trying to rush too much, guys, but we got a lot of tanks to get through, so that's why I tried to spend a little, little time on each one. I do do uh, individual tanks, and I'll usually do 10 to 15 minute videos on them. Do apologize, I haven't been on of late. But wanted to get you guys a video today. So that's what I'm doing. Tiger Oscar's over here just having a heyday. One thing that's funny about these guys, watch this guy. They just love to come up and nibble on my fingers. Look at that. They, they let me pet them. These guys are so personable. Aren't you? They are one of my favorites as well. So, moving along, got one more room to show you. Okay. This room's a mess, but we've got a bunch of our project from out there in there. In here, guys, we keep our platinum half beaks, which have started spawning for us. Uh, problem is, we don't seem to be able to get the fish out of there quick enough. There's a big female there. Let me see if anybody's hanging up. There's a little male right there. Got a total of five or six of them in here. These guys, the reason we have it so planted, you got to give them some broken up sites of alignment. They see each other. They like to pick on each other. So again, heavily planted, 20 long. Down there is a 10 gallon. We're getting ready to reset up. And then over here, it's one of our pride and joys. It's our 50 low boy. We have a huge breeding colony of Cygnatus Shelly fish in here. These guys are all getting ready to go to the wet spot. Actually, it looks like I've lost a few now. So I better be getting them there sooner than later, it's looking like. Although it's hard to say because they all hide in these shells. So it might just be that they're, the rest of their buddies are hanging out in some shells somewhere. So anyway, that's our little Shelly colony. Down here, oh well, excuse me guys, when I've got this many I try to, I got some more of my dragon bloods, I've got some deep water hops. I like to keep the algae for color, that's why this is so heavily thing. I probably should go ahead and clean it, then I do. Also keep a lot of this in there, but these little guys are starting to come along good. And then finally, this is our 240 gallon compliments of Roland and Kimberly Holtz. I bought this from them. This is one.